validated more than anything. Um, again, I haven't been doing drag for very long and it's been really hard to get my drag out there and to get noticed. And I feel like usually regardless of whether it's good or bad, people don't really give a shit. So to have my drag sort of validated by people like the Boulay Brothers is really something else. It takes it to a different place and it feels new. Um, so that's what the win feels like for me. You look really good. You fucking deserved it. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. And you still went comedy on the runway. It was so funny. <laughs> you still. Whether it was a this or not. No, because she said the LA tap water thing. Oh shit. I just love how I forgot. Because your look was so intense and like I serious, and then you're like, LA tap water! I just, I don't know. It was too much. I love it. <laughs> Did anyone Man. not agree with their, with their critique? Oh. I thought my shoes were amazing. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. <laughs> You have the red, the red like, uh, like leather ones, right? Yeah. I'm bummed that apparently my like hoof legs red as like crushed velvet, I guess, because they're like this is a really weird mixture of materials, and I'm like it's all like fur though. Like how Whoa. is it weird? Melissa, what was your critique? Uh, that they felt that my look was very more That's galactic like, villain which, which? and nothing like wicked. So oh. I was like, oh. I mean, out of the bottom three, the weakest to me is Loris. Like, just because I know the other two better, and I don't know what Loris can do. That, I mean, Pinche has won, like, the club version of Dragula twice, so, like, the Boulay Brothers know what she can do. Like, they know what she's capable of. They know what she can bring to the team. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Hey, girl. Well, welcome back. Hey. 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 Good to be back. Yeah. You're creepy. Oh, my God. Is that bad? Hey. Perfect. No, it's actually just hot glue. Oh, you look cool. It's spray painted hot glue. <laughs> Dang, bitch. <laughs> Commitment. Hi. Hi, Neon Queen. Ew. Are you bringing in the. Avert your eyes. <laughs> so, so how was it bottom three? Girl. What was the challenge like? It was, um. It was something. What did they make you do? Um, they put us through it, girl. They, like. So I'm claustrophobic, oh, yeah. and so they put us in a coffin and like covered us in dirt. <laughs> so it was like completely dark, and then a light came on, and like stuff started like falling on top of us. So were they filming uh, like you random inside? things that what? Were they filming you inside? Is that what that light was? I think so. Yeah, I think that that's what was happening. Oh, that's why I don't want to be in the bottom three at all. Like, I'm here to win every fucking challenge. I'm not sure Fuck at all. That. Yeah. So, it was, uh, it was a lot, but I just kind of had fun with it. I, like, sang a couple of dandies and, you know... You're, you're still here, so. I may have I may have accidentally swallowed a cricket, which isn't the most vegan thing I've ever done, but <laughs> hey, you know, you do what you gotta do, so... <laughs> well, congrats on the, uh, yeah. uh, your return. Fuck yeah. Oh, it's good to still be here. Confident and being present on the road. Oh. 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 How are you? Oh, you look good. The beans are spilled, yeah. yeah. The tea is. So, so that means good to see you. The tea is gone. The gone, you guys. R.I.P. Does she have like a fear of claustrophobia? No. Of course not. Bro, maybe she put her hands up. Maybe she could not keep that shit on her side. She moved or something. Okay. All right. You had an idea of how everything was gonna go down. Yes, yeah, bitch. You were going home. Me? <laughs> I I want to well, be honest. I thought no tea. Some I of us. Meatball was going home. Some people say that you were gonna. Me? That's okay. Yeah. I I just thought because I saw everything on your face, bitch. Like yeah. I when, when you left, you, I feel like, like you, you seem really, the most defeated. Um, I do have honestly, I have a lot of trouble with like overcoming my own sort of insecurities and, and that was my what my critique was is that I didn't come across as confident and so um, I'm ready this week to show them that I fucking am confident and that I love what I do and that I do it well so I'm not gonna let any of that get in my way. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs>
was one by one. It was really like kind of scary. It was like we were in the dark waiting to be called. To yeah, we were just sitting in the dark, and then they no put idea. us in the coffin and closed the lid. Yeah, and that's when they started dropping the dirt on it. And you could just hear it was so loud inside the coffin. We had no coffin. idea what was going to. I was oh freaked out, <laughs> and we couldn't move our arms. You had to move your arms by your side. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was the that challenge. That was just the, one of the part of the challenge. Like so that. you're like in this coffin, and you just feel like you want to move and like get the crickets off of you your face because like they were being dropped in um, through the no. top. I don't think like on your face. Oh, guys, look, there's a note. It's very angry. Are these for us? Uh -oh. Yum, yum, yum. All right, hold on, back up. I gotta read this. I'm thirsty. Well, we got a note. We got a note. Right, a note. Congratulations. Okay. Please enjoy the shots and meet us in the vault to discuss your next challenge. The Boulet Brothers. Ooh. All right, everyone. Thank you for the tray. These are all for me. Oh, <laughs> Good evening, ladies. Shut up, shut up, shut up. We've asked you guys to come and join us tonight so that we can remind you before your next challenge that in order to win the crown of Dracula, you're not only going to have to be glamorous, filthy, and beautiful, but you're also going to have to be very tough. If you came here expecting anything less than getting punched in the face at least once, you have definitely signed up for the wrong competition. That's right, ladies. Tonight's challenge is all about being glamorous and being tough. We've taken some inspiration from the fabulous female wrestlers of the 1980s. They were big, they were beautiful, they were brawny. They definitely knew a thing or two about drag, and they definitely knew how to take a punch. It was all about big hair, big personalities, but simple concepts. So tonight's challenge is simple. You're going to draw inspiration from these female warriors and transform yourself into your very own version of a female wrestler. Now we're gonna release you guys to go back and work on your concepts for a while longer and then meet us in the parlor in a few hours for the floor show. And tonight, to help us judge the floor show, we'll be joined by celebrity drag photographer, Magnus Hastings. Come dress to kill, ladies, and we'll see you very soon. Good luck, everybody. Bye for now, lovers. Welcome, everyone. Tonight, we've challenged our ghouls to reimagine their drag personas as one of the femme fatales from the 80s Professional Wrestling League. Here to help us decide which one of our monsters kicks the most ass tonight is celebrity drag photographer, Magnus Hastings. Hello, Magnus. Let's let the floor show begin.
Come and get it, boys. to thank you for a job well done. You can all give yourselves a round of applause. It was filthy, it was disgusting, it was repulsive, it was beautiful. I want to remind you guys that the feedback that we're giving you is exclusively intended to help shape you into our next drag super monster. So when we give you information, we want you to take that with you forward in the next challenge. So when I call your name, please slither forward. Meatball. Foxy Ajoué. Loris. And finally, Vander. Congratulations, girls. You four did the best this week. So we're gonna start with Foxy. I was confused at first. I was like, what the hell is going on? And then the story kind of unfolded for me, or maybe better yet, spilled out for me all over the stage. I mean, this type of risk is like super punk. It's disgusting. It definitely makes you think. I was like, Girl, is she shit right now? Your look almost puts you on the bottom. Your concept and execution was so good that it moved you up to the top. Yeah, Foxy, I, the look is kind of basic, but what you did, I'm very rarely shocked, and it, I loved it, because it made me laugh and gasp, and, and it was kind of shocking. Uh, we'll move on to Meatball. Um, for me, you understand the ladies of the 80s. It was big hair, the colors were there. Um, you kind of get extra credit for being, it was a little insulting, it was a little like revolting. Like I was, <laughs> you know, for me that pushes it to a nice place, a place where I want to see more of what Meatball is going to do next. You really epitomized the challenge today. I mean, you could have walked out of that ring in the 80s and I would have bought it, hook, line, and sinker. You, you really nailed the challenge. The performance too, the cartwheel, amazing. The body slam of the hamburger, perfect. Like, you understand the challenge and you nailed it, really. And yeah, I loved your tummy tear away. I think that's really cute. Um, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, yeah, I just, it's, again, it was, I'm thinking about the people who are on the top. The performance level was high and you were, your performance was, was great and body slamming a burger and I, was, I loved it, it was great. And you look amazing and is a throwback to that real wrestling 80s thing. Next, let's talk about Vander. Uh, for me, Vander, your performance tonight was the most committed. 
like 150%. For every little flick of the knee, the characterization of the matador was just there. Um, and you really had me thinking about gender a lot. It really had my gears turning and that's what pulls me in and keeps me interested in what you're doing. It's a good job tonight. Vanda, I, I liked it. I, I found it feminine. <laughs> I kind of felt it was the movement made it made it really feminine. And your, I was transfixed by your face because I've not seen you before, and I was trying to work out what the illusion was. Uh, but it was it was incredible. But I was just trying to kind of get my head around it. If that makes any sense. Loris, you impress us tonight because you grew a lot since last week. Last week when you came out, you were very nervous on the stage, and we were nervous for you. Because we're like, this girl looks amazing, but you know, does she have the confidence to sell these concepts? And last week you didn't. And after we put you through the extermination challenge and you survived, I feel like that forced you to grow as a performer, and you showed it today on the runway. Yeah, for me, the devil's in the details, and you were in bed with the devil all week, it looks like. I mean, there's goo coming out of the arm pieces, the shoes. Um, you had the, your makeup is sickening, the reveal from the from the, the medical mask and the ichor pouring out, the lines, the character, the moves at the end of the runway. Seriously, like you, you know, you're impressive tonight. Yeah, Lawrence, I, I loved it. I really, weirdly, I loved you with the mask on almost the most. It was so beautiful. Your eyes are so beautiful. You came out and I kind of gasped and went, this is, it was really, really beautifully done. And I'd like to thank you for doing just the one death drop because I was so sick of seeing people <laughs> death dropping and death dropping and it's like, thank you, it's perfect. Loris, you did do the best this week. <laughs> you four are safe from the extermination challenge and you may return to your cribs for the night. Thank you. All right, girls. As you know, we thought all of you did fantastic tonight, but there does have to be two separations. And we felt that you four could use a little more molding and inspiration and guidance from us on becoming a better super monster. Let's start with Sochi. I'm loving the reptilian, the lizard lady. You came out, it was so cute, you had my attention. I was comparing you to the rest of the girls though, because everyone's level is pretty high. Once the reveal happened and I was looking at details in your costuming, I started noticing some things. There was shifting in the mask, this was coming up here. Um, you know, for me that really distracted from the spell you were casting, because when you came out, I was in. I was like, oh, I love this little pearls, the reptilian thing, the sharp teeth, like this is, a, this is someone in my army. For me, when you were moving and dancing, I could see parts of your undergarment showing through. So like in your crotch, I could see black. And so things were peeking through that maybe we shouldn't be seeing. You were giving full bulge <laughs> at the end of the runway. You were, you and were. I don't think it was on purpose. And congratulations. Yeah. So Zochi, for me, it was more about performance because I liked your outfit and it was, it just felt really lackluster and really like you couldn't be bothered. It was weird. It was, I was watching you and then I started to sort of nitpick about other things because if you look bored, then I get bored when you're performing. So that was kind of what it was for me. All right, let's move on to Ursula Major. Bitch, we love you. I mean, look <laughs> at you. Your face, you know how to paint, you have an idea, the tattoos, the tongue split. I mean, you have all of the raw material it takes to be the super monster that we are looking for. But, the concept is so cute, but the fabric choice is so odd. Uh, you know, it doesn't scream disco to me. For me, Ursula, you, you are a super monster already, but I don't feel like you're bringing everything you have to the competition. We know you and we know what you can do, and you know what you can do, but I don't think you're giving it your all yet. You don't seem fully committed. Yeah, for me, I love the faggot tattoo because I've not seen it before, so it was, it was fabulous. And I was really kind of split because I'd look at your face and it's painted so beautifully and, and I love what you do. And then I was just going in my head going, is it, what, it, what is it about the outfit? And it, what I said to them was the idea of having like glitter ball fabric, so it really felt disco -y, because if you're going to reference Saturday Night Fever, then it's got to feel really disco, hasn't it? 
So let's move on to Frankie Doom. You know, who doesn't love a horny punk bitch? I think that there were some things that kind of pulled me into your character. It was like this balance of like super masculine and then cutesy cutesy feminine, like you were gonna fuck me to death. Um, but I just don't think the character was as realized as the girls around you. Yeah, it was weird for, it was, again, the, apart from the tits, the, the, the actual costume was kind of basic. But, I, but then the, the tits, because I've not seen them before, then they're kind of fun and... Yeah, and you have that punk energy, like, commit to it. Like, if you're gonna do a kick, do a high kick. If you're gonna jump on the ground, body slam the ground. Like, just own all of your movements at 110%, and I think it'll serve you better. So let's move on to Melissa. We feel like what we're missing from the competition is your delivery. We have seen what you can do on stage, and you pretty much blow away most performers, but you're not bringing that to the stage for some reason, and we keep wondering, where is it? So when you came out dressed as a cat tonight, we're waiting for those backflips and death drops that we know that you could deliver, but they weren't there. The question is, what is she holding back? The idea of almost going into the looking glass and finding the other side, like the alley cat rather than the kitten. As I said, it was like going back to my teens and try, I was trying to like pussy, but it didn't, wasn't quite right. Tonight, all four of you are going to face the extermination challenge. We are taking you guys on location where you will be mud wrestling each other to see which one of you can come out on top and show us your true inner fighting bitch. And you're all dressed perfectly for the occasion. The stakes are high tonight. You're all going to battle in the mud pit, but one of you will not be making it out alive. Good evening, ladies, and welcome to your extermination challenge. As we told you earlier, you will be battling each other in the mud, head to head, for your very existence. We will take into consideration your looks and performances during the floor show earlier, as well as your wrestling matches tonight, to determine which of you will continue in this competition, and which of you will face extermination. Let the games Begin! I'm gonna wear you like a mask! Tear your ass apart. Bring it, bitch. Doomsday, bitch! Bitch. 
bitch! Get out of here! Bitch! This is my level, bitch! Fine! Well, ladies, the fight is over. We were looking forward to this all evening, and you did not disappoint. Unfortunately, there were no pins tonight, but we're not really that surprised. After all, each of you is handpicked for this competition. So one more time, well done and good show. Good job. Good job. While you all fought ferociously tonight, one of you fought especially hard and fought to kill. That monster was Melissa B. Fear. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you are no longer up for extermination. You're free to return to your crypt for the night. Bye, bitches. Bye. <laughs> that means, unfortunately, for one of you, the sand in your hourglass has run out. You're done for the evening. You can return to your crypts. One of you won't be joining us in the morning. Pleasant dreams. So I just saved my ass from extermination. I won. The elimination challenge. Now I'm gonna go extra hard and go for the damn fucking title that I want. Uh, I'm feeling uh, pretty worn out, but I feel like I fought pretty fucking hard, and I think I'm gonna stay in this competition. But I guess we'll have to see. I feel pretty good, but I feel nervous at the same time. Um, me and Melissa fucking exert like went in on each other. Brutal madness. Lost the contact on the first take, and <laughs> and an eyelash. All you see is red. All, I just completely blacked out and I just went in for the kill. I have a lot to offer. I have a lot more to show. I mean, I am a drag monster. This is what I do. I love to go out. I love to be, become a creature. So I might have fallen a little short today. I might have maybe messed up a tiny bit, but trust and believe. Keep me and I'll show you guys a lot of really cool shit. It's time, Ursula. Be sure to contribute to the Dragula Grand Prize at Indiegogo, Keyword Dragula, or simply use the link below.